Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome to Cooking Live. I'm Chef Patrice, and I'm going to make you a better cook. Making the perfect French onion soup. That is one of the topics for this class today. Also, we, we, we are going to do a little bit of butchering. I can't wait to show you how to cut a lamb chop out of a rack of lamb. Of course, on the menu, we're going to have also soft polenta, pan sear arugula with sauteed oyster mushrooms. Um, it's going to be just beautiful with that lamb juice with rosemary. So let's not waste any time. Uh, the first thing we want to do, of course, is uh, we want to work on the rack of lamb to create our trimmings for the rosemary jus. Let's get the ingredient list up on the screen and let's start cooking. For butchering, you want to get your, your best knife, a very sharp knife, of course, okay? The first thing we need to do here, and when you start to doing butchering, I like to use my hand as much as possible. You know, you can see there's a silver skin underneath the skin in here, but the first thing here you want to do, if you can, with your, your hands like this, you just remove the first layer. There we go, as much as possible. And then just turning around like that and coming up, be careful move your finger away from the uh, from the knife and now you we having a little bit more trimmings all right so i'm gonna let everybody do that slowly i'm not gonna rush it today i want you to make sure that everybody's doing a great job all right very good now look what i have in here four a rack of lamb with four bones but if you look at it they got almost the same interval between you know each bone right. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that in half. Okay, now you can see what's going on. I got two identical pieces right here. And so what I'm gonna do again, place my knife in the middle of the loin. Don't look at the bones. They, they are gonna be out of the way. And I can see about this, huh? and I'm just gonna cut it straight. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other piece also. There we go, right in the middle. And you can see because we did remove those uh, other bones, now I have four identical lamb chops. So we're gonna place those lamb chop into a, uh, a dish like this, and then just put some garlic. And if a little bit of skin goes into the uh, the, the lamb chop, here, no big deal. We will use this uh, garlic. Actually, I'm just gonna smash it when we saute the uh, lamb chop. Huh? What else we're gonna use it? We also making a jus with rosemary. So might as well start putting a little bit of rosemary into. Uh, the lamb chop right here, just twist it like that, perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of olive oil. Black peppercorn, that's fun, you could do that. Oh yeah, you wanna hear that sound, of course. There we go. Now, are you glad that you have a good hood, huh? That's the day where you're very happy about that. I already put salt and pepper, so they are seasoned already. There we go, I'm gonna flip them on the other side. This is what the action called poilé, which means, you know, pan sear it, and then with the fat from the meat, just go ahead and uh, spray it. Oh yeah, they have a nice color. And what I'm doing right now, I'm watching for that blood I'm talking about. Okay, if you're not sure, again, you can use your thermometer. We're looking at 135 for medium. It should be ready. Now let's get a close up in here. I want to show to everyone a little sign in here. But if you're using your uh, onion soup bowl, what we're gonna do is put the crouton and a slice of cheese on top of the crouton and then more shredded cheese. That slice of cheese could hold everything together. And then you take a uh, little bit of palm, a little bit of, uh, of a gruyere. Yeah, you gotta tell me this is a lot of cheese. This is what makes the onion soup. <laughs> okay, go straight in the oven. You can't wait when you do that you have to go straight in the oven, okay? And the oven, of course, should be set up on the on the broil. And you're gonna leave it there until the cheese start to bubbling up and get some good color. I think I'm gonna take it off now. Beautiful, okay, there you go. Now, I'm always a big fan of uh, passing more jus or sauce to uh, to my guests, if I have to on the on the side dish, this way I don't have to put too much on the plate and make the plate look good. Now we're gonna bring some color with the uh, little bit of tomatoes, lightly saute, of course. The bouillabaisse next week, and also apple strudel. 
We are, it's the season of the apple, they're all over the market, they're beautiful. So we're going to start with the Puya Vest, the apple strudel with the ice cream, vanilla ice cream, and also some caramel sauce on top of that. So please, guys, uh, don't forget uh, next Saturday at 4 o'clock Eastern Time on Cooking Live. I will show you how to make those two dishes perfect like you always do, all right? So until I see you next week, have a nice week and uh, enjoy your meal.